Today we will be reading Juno's Jar by Jane Bach, illustrated by Felicia Hoshino. Juno's family always had a large jar of kimchi in their fridge. After they finished eating all the kimchi, Juno sometimes got to keep the empty jar. Juno loved to take the jar and go on adventures with her best friend Hector. They went to the park near their apartment building to collect colorful rocks and small bugs. Once Hector found a green caterpillar, Juno worried that it wouldn't have what it needed to make a cocoon, so they let it go. One morning, Juno went looking for Hector to go on another kimchi char adventure. She ran downstairs to his grandmother's apartment. Hi, Abuelita, Juno said to Hector's grandmother. Can Hector come out to play? Hola, Juno, Hector's grandmother said, giving her a hug. I'm sorry, Hector is not here. Then she told Juno that his parents had come the day before and taken Hector to live with them in a big house far away. Hector had wanted to say goodbye, but Juno was not home. Juno was very sad. When she got back home, her big brother, Minho, tried to cheer her up. He took Juno to Mr. Lee's pet shop and bought her a small fish. Juno watched the fish swim in circles in her jar. That night, when everyone else was asleep, Juno put on a diving mask and fins and dove into the water. Juno's fish took her everywhere. They swam with sea turtles, played with dolphins, and discovered a giant clam. Can you help me find my friend Hector? Juno asked her fish. They swam to a dark underwater cave. Hector wasn't there, but they found huge snakes slithering in the sand. When Juno got closer, she saw that they were actually tentacles. Juno wondered if they belonged to an octopus or a giant squid. I wish Hector was here, Juno thought. He knows everything about animals. By the next day, Juno's fish had grown so big its mouth nearly touched its tail. Appa, my fish needs more space, Juno said to Minho. With his help, Juno put her fish in the aquarium in their living room. Juno's jar was empty again. Minho had an idea. He gave Juno a small bean plant he had grown at school for science class. They found some soil and carefully put the plant in the jar. That night, when everyone else was asleep, Juno put on hiking boots and climbed down the plant into a lush green rainforest. Juno swung on vines, climbed a tree with a sloth, and sang with howler monkeys. Have you seen my friend Hector? She asked them all. One monkey pointed to the river and jumped away. As Juno got closer to the water, she saw that the rocks in the river began to move. They weren't rocks at all. It was the back of an alligator or a crocodile. She wasn't sure which one it was. I wish Hector was here, she thought. He would know. By the next day, Juno's plant had almost reached the ceiling. Appa, my plant grew too big for my jar, Juno said. Minho helped Juno put the plant into a large pot on their balcony. Juno's jar was empty again. Minho and Juno walked to the park. A cricket chirped in the bushes. Juno quietly snuck up to the cricket and cupped her hands around it. Then she placed it gently into the jar. Minho helped her find twigs and leaves, and they put them in the jar too. When they got home, Juno punched holes in the lid of the jar so the cricket could breathe. That night, when everyone else was asleep, Juno put on goggles and a helmet and hopped onto the cricket's back. Juno and the cricket rode through the night sky together. They flew over tall buildings that looked like giant steps leading to the moon. They followed a trail of cars that lit up the hill like a string of holiday lights. The cricket landed on a windowsill of a big house. Juno peeked in the window. There was Hector, asleep in his bed, and on the bedside table was the kimchi jar Juno had given him. Hector looked like he was having happy dreams. Juno smiled. Bye, Hector, she whispered. Then she hopped onto the cricket's back and flew home. By the next day, the cricket's antenna had poked through the holes in the jar's lid. Appa, the cricket grew too big for my jar too, Juno said. So Minho and Juno walked to the park and set the cricket free. Juno's jar was empty again. Juno looked around the park and wondered what she could put in her jar next. I wish, she thought. Look what I found, a girl behind her said. Can we put it in your jar? Juno turned around. A green inchworm was wriggling up the girl's arm. Juno smiled and held out her jar.